Hi, my name is John Markson. I'm a producer, engineer, and mixer for bands like Drug Church, Drain, Sam I Am, Brother Tiger, and this is my gear story. What I have here is a Yamaha SPX90. It is an outboard line level device that is a, a multi-effects unit, so to speak. I think it's it's either an 8-bit or a 12-bit, I call it vintage digital multi-effect unit that has one of the most iconic chorus sounds and short reverb sounds that you can really find. Obviously, you can do a lot of this kind of stuff in the box. You can grab a lot of impulses from it, but I've always found that using one of these things, driving the front end funny, and discovering sounds that require interfacing with this thing in a way that's not exactly like clicking on stuff in a computer, really has opened up some creative pathways for me and using flanging effects in some, some curious ways and again some of the coolest reverb sounds you can find a very aggressive sounding I think that there's my personal opinion and the opinion that some of my peers share is that there's something in the sound of the converters themselves and obviously the low bit rate vintage digital uh, converter tech and, and sample rate tech stuff that this sort of lo-fi reverb to me sounds extremely hi-fi Andy Wallace loves this thing using the symphonic patch on bass and I think me and so many other people have have copied that for the last 30 years of <laughs> rock and roll mixing. My favorite things are gated reverb, symphonic on bass, and there's also a patch, I forget what number it is for anyone that owns it, but it's called Delay Vibrato, and it makes everything sound like it's coming out of a uh, Halloween Supercenter store, Party City kind of thing. It's, re it's really funny and actually has a bizarrely uh, useful use case for lead guitars or a weird vocal that you just need to give something bizarre and subliminally cool happening behind it. I'm John Markson. And this is my gear story, and I'm sticking to it.